Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to illustrate the concept of get. All right, so um, I mean get as opposed to post. Uh, I'm going to keep this one brief, and it's probably not going to meet the needs of what you want, but I'm going to show you how it works. I'm starting here with some code. So I did this example a few minutes ago, just walk you through what it is. There's this idea. I've got a variable called grade, and I assigned it a value of 95 arbitrarily. The type of grade would be integer, right? not what the point of this video is, and I've got an if statement. So if it's greater than 90, A, B, C, and so on, just so you don't feel completely lost, I figured, hey, I'm gonna fill in the else clause with you watching. All right, so I'm just putting in an else. So if you get lower than 70, if you watched my first video, I'm saying that you fail. All right, so I'm not here to talk about if and else if, but notice that I'm hard coding this variable in here. I'll save it, test it, show you how it works quite predictably we get an A. I head back to look at my code for a minute. Now this is completely static, not interactive in any way, shape, or form. It would be really nice if the user could pass a value, right? Because if I just wanted to tell you that I'm grades 95, you know that's an A. But instead I'm going to write a line of code, simple one line of code, in order to get uh, a variable that's post or passed via the URL. And so the syntax is pretty not that friendly looking. It's dollar sign, underscore, and since we're using the get method, I'm gonna say get, and then square brackets, all right? So this indicates that this is some kind of an array, and this is known as an associative array, super globals, those are all vocabulary terms associated with this for another video. And so I'm gonna be passing a value called I would call it grade, but that's kind of bad because then you're not going to know what one's grade. I'm just going to call it GRD, which is a bad choice, but I just it's kind of problematic for learning purposes when this and this have the same name. There's no real problem with it. All right, so have a look at my code. I'm saving it. All right, and if I go to run it, something bad's going to happen. So notice no literal value here, right? It's not 95 anymore. It's whatever this magic function gives us. I'm telling you it's going to give us nothing. And I go and I run my program, and guess what? I get a notice, undefined index. So what it's telling me is it's saying that get couldn't find anything called GRD. So let me show you where it can get that from. Typically, you post and get variables from a form. Notice I'm running, I'm using XAMPP here. So I'm running this through localhost on my little local Apache server. And so if I want to pass a variable, I go to the end of my URL, and then it's a question mark and then the name of that variable. So I called it, so basically I said GRD. Remember this value right here has to match up with that. All right, so I'm saying, hey, look for something like that. And if it, and I set that value like this, and so now if I say 77, that's basically getting, uh, I wanna get that value. And if I refresh this page, and it looks pretty weird, uh, with you know discussing it in this context, it's kinda, kind of silly. Oops, I, I shouldn't have refreshed. I should have just pressed enter. Uh, so GRD equals 77. Enter. And you notice that now that 77 got stripped out of the URL and it got processed by the PHP. So really grade got set to 77. Sure enough, it ended up being a C. Let's just make sure that it does do what we think it does. I give it a 50. I press enter and you fail and I give it 150, which is a ridiculous percentage, but it's an A because we never put an upper bound on it, right? We could have said something about if your grade's greater than 100, then you're full of it, but uh, you know, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, I guess that's an A, right? I, don't, I guess shouldn't give that much extra credit, I guess. Now, that's basically how get works. Now, get isn't the most common way to pass form data. There's another method that's very similar and that's called post and you access those variables in the same way but uh right when you're just doing the ifs and the, and all the other examples i've been doing with the static variables they're kind of meaningless but when you start doing this you start passing information via the url you can use the get to process it that's how this works in a nutshell i'll try and transition into some more meaningful examples shortly but really uh, things get quite a bit more complicated quite quickly so Hopefully you appreciate that I kept it simple here. Uh, anyways, you probably don't want to stare at that screen. You better look at this one, possibly. Here's the syntax, just right there. That's our magic thing. This is just an if statement. Uh, next video, I'm going to talk about post, and I'll do some more interesting examples. Thanks for watching.